Let's have fun with our Latin dishes by making some Norito fritters. Similar to the flavor profile of that popular snack food that rhymes with Noritos. Join me, Steve Bryce, as I guide you through what I learned, tips, techniques, tricks, as well as mistakes over the years as I explored plant-based eating in my transition from being a meat eater, working in the meat industry, to becoming a vegan chef and running two restaurants. We'll begin by using masarina. It's not cornmeal, it's a specially treated corn flavor profile, kind of like tortillas, because that's what the ingredient is in a corn tortilla. And then we'll add our chickpea flour to that. A little bit of nutritional yeast. And we'll add some garlic powder. A little salt. Some paprika. Some cumin. I'm using a little bit of MSG just for flavor enhancement. We are going to make some fresh chili powder today. And to do that, we'll just take some chilies that uh, dried chilies. These happen to be New Mexico chilies, so they're not very spicy. And we'll put those in the microwave for a brief time, maybe 20 seconds. Check them to make sure that they're kind of crispy. But be careful because every 5 to 10 seconds in a microwave takes you from toasted to burnt. And then we'll grind that in the spice grinder and add that to our mixture. The flavor that you get from actually toasting the chilies and grinding them fresh is, is just amazing. We'll mix those dry ingredients together. Then we'll add a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I'm choosing to use just a little bit of olive oil today, but you could omit that if you want. And then some water. We'll add some sweet corn, frozen sweet corn that I had thawed. And then some grated carrots. We'll take some scallions and just dice a few of those scallions. We'll reserve part of the scallions to add as a garnish on top, but we can add some of the bottoms of the scallions. And we'll mix that together. We'll mix it until it's kind of sticky, because we want the stick factor to be such that when we make the fritters, they kind of form a little ball. So we'll mix that around, and you can kind of begin to feel the difference when it starts to get sticky. And then uh, we'll wet our hands and start to form the fritters. If your hands get too sticky, you can just take a break and wet your hands again. And then uh, just form the fritters into little balls, any size or shape. It's certainly not a perfect thing. If they are uniform, they'll get done evenly though. And about 22 to 25 minutes in the oven. And then we'll start to build our plate. This is just a black bean and vegetable mixture I made. And then some rice. A few fresh tomatoes and some cucumbers. And then we'll add some enchilada sauce to the dish. And then we can place our fritters on top. And then part of the scallions that we had reserved, set those on top and we've built a nice little plate. Nice flavor, looks appealing, lots of different color. I hope you enjoy. So as you enjoy the last bit of your meal, don't forget to move in nature or practice flowing in on your mat whenever you wanna find flow and ease in your life.